Hey guys, welcome back to another modding video. In this video, we are going to cover how to mod uh, Bloons Monkey City. So, just like BTD5 and BTD Battles, Monkey City runs off of a JET file, so we can edit them just like we would with Monkey City, or sorry, with BTD5 or Battles. So, most of the videos in this series are going to apply to Monkey City as well. Unfortunately, as far as I know, nobody's modded Monkey City for Windows Store because it sucks and it's got some protection crap. So we're not going to be able to mod the Windows Store version as far as I know. If you know anybody who's actually pulled that off, let me know. I'll make a video on it. They're going to be a hero. So this video is going to be how to mod for Android because that's the only way I know how to mod it. Just a quick side note, NK Hook. Uh, one of the tools that's been made in the time between this remake and the original version of this tutorial series. Uh, we're trying to expand that, at least at some point, expand it to Monkey City so we can have some mod support for Monkey City on Windows. But that's a side note. Anyways, let's get started. So for the video, I'm going to be using an Android emulator just because it's easy to record. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you have Monkey City installed first. So in order to get that installed, you just go to the Play Store. And I believe you just type in Bloons Monkey City. And there it is. So I'm going to give this an install and be back in a sec. All right, so I finished installing it. It's probably safe to play it at least once so it downloads all the files. And then just like the video on how to mod mobile or mod Android, we're going to need to get an APK extractor. If you're on iPhone or iOS, you're going to have to find the equivalent of that. APK files are basically the app files for Android uh, Android apps. Uh, you'll just have to find the equivalent for iPhone. Once I figure that out, I'll make a video on it too. So to get an uh, APK extractor or the iPhone equivalent, you just go to the App Store, look up uh, APK extractor or iPhone equivalent, and then download it and then run it. And we are going to scroll down until we see Bloons Monkey City, which I'm not seeing. Uh, so for me, it is under Monkey City. So I'm going to click on that, and it says it was extracted to some path. I found with these apps, your best bet is to restart your phone or your device afterwards, because it doesn't always like uh, show it as extracted in the files. Only after you restart it will it show. All right, so I've restarted my phone and then I've plugged it into my computer. So I'm going to click on internal storage and look for something that sounds like APK extractor. All right, so I've gone to that folder and you can see I have the BTD battles, but for this tutorial, we've got BTD monkey city. So I'm just going to copy that with control C, make a new folder on my desktop. We'll call it B, uh, BMC mobile paste the uh, APK in there and it's done. You're gonna need some kind of zipping program like 7-Zip or WinRAR to open this. Um, so if you've got those, you can just right click on the uh, APK, hover over that option like 7-Zip or WinRAR and then open it. If you don't, go to Google, look up 7-Zip, click on the first link and download it. Now, if you do have 7-Zip or WinRAR and you right click and you don't see that as an option here, it's pretty easy. Just press the start button on your keyboard and look for 7-Zip or WinRAR. Click on File Manager and it will open up to some directory. Just copy the path at the top of the folder your APK is in and then paste it inside of 7-Zip uh, or WinRAR. And then just double click and you'll see a folder like this. So we're looking for the assets. So just click on the assets folder and let's see what asset bundle is. Well, that's something. What we want is this assets folder right here with a capital A. If you double click on it, you can see a data.jet and all the other files, the audio, the fonts, the shaders, textures, everything. We want the data.jet, so I'm just gonna drag and drop that down here and we're good to go. BTD Monkey City uses the same password as BTD5, so it stays the same during each update. You're not gonna have to worry about getting a new password. If you don't know what that password is, I've got it right here. You want to make sure that there's no spaces before or after your password, because if you do have spaces, it won't work and you'll see an invalid password error um, and your files will not have code in them. 
And if you're wondering what I just did, I just right clicked on data.jet, hovered over 7-zip and clicked extract here. If you don't see that option, you can just double click on data.jet inside of 7-zip or WinRAR and then just drag assets over. Anyway, so here's the files. This is, uh, at this point, it's basically the same modding files that we'll be doing through the rest of the tutorial series. So unless it's specifically for BTD5 or battles, you'll be able to follow along with the rest of the series. One thing I do want to say is BTD Toolbox does not currently support Monkey City. So if you want to use uh, BTD Toolbox to mod the Monkey City file, click on File, New, Project from Jet with no game. Because this, like I said, Toolbox doesn't support BTD Battles, uh, sorry, BTD Monkey City yet. So this is going to work on Jet files that don't have a game, which is the same as games Toolbox doesn't support. Anyways, just copy the path to your data.jet, paste it in there, double click on data.jet, and I'm going to do BMC mod 1. If you noticed, it did not ask for a password. That's because BTD Toolbox knows that it knows what BTD 5's password is. And since it shares the same thing for Monkey City, it'll be fine and you won't have to worry about it. And look at that. It's exactly the same as uh, what we just had. So when you're done making your mod, you're going to want to make sure that you don't accidentally launch it into BTD 5. Basically, what you're going to do is you can do any of Toolbox's options of saving. Uh, you can click the Save button down here. You can press Control S. You can click on File, Save whatever you want, but when your mod is done and ready to use, just press Control S. Um, well, I don't want to export the same as last place in this scenario. Normally, you'd probably click yes. Anyways, I'm going to do finished data.jet and it will apply the BTD5 password for me and we're done. So now what we have to do is take our new BTD Monkey City mod and put it back into the APK so that we can play it in a game. So from this part, you guys are going to have to go to the next video in the playlist that's going to be on uh, how to take your new mods and put them on Android, because this is going to be the same no matter what you're modding, whether it's BTD5, Battles, or Monkey City. We're going to do the same technique, and I don't want to make three videos that are the exact same. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.